So uh, mostly in customer service, right? In customer services, mainly, mainly used over there, right? For instance, customers will complain and then create a ticket, okay? In order for the department to know which category does this complaint fall into, they actually need to use this name entity recognition to do that. So they use it to identify the keywords that are in the uh, complaint, okay? So for instance, if a customer is um, creating a ticket and then the customer wrote, uh, maybe something like um, maybe something like my phone camera, right? My phone camera is not working. Okay, my phone camera is not working. Okay, my phone camera is not working. Now, in that case, we know that it's supposed to go to the department that works on the phone camera. Okay, this ticket needs to go to um, the department that works on the phone camera because the name entity is going to identify phone. It will identify camera. Okay, so it, it, you know that, okay, these are the important keywords, right? There's a phone and then there's a photo with a camera. Okay, whether the fo there's a photo or not, it's going to identify these two keywords. And then this ticket will be routed to the um, department that works on the camera. Okay, if it is maybe my phone's battery is not working, right? So it's going to identify it respectively. And then this ticket will be routed to the department that works on the battery. Okay, so that's basically what happens in the customer service ticketing, right? And I mean, in recommendation system also, right? So if the user can um, type something, if you go to Amazon, you wanna buy something, okay? You, if you type something, um, depending on what you are typing, so maybe buy, or maybe you search for say, um, Samsung, okay? You, you search for say Samsung, right? Samsung, um, Samsung TV, something like that, okay? So in that case, that is the keyword that you have um, sent over there. So the name entity recognition is going to identify that, okay, this is the keyword. And then I'm supposed to bring out, um, Samsung products. Okay. I'm supposed to bring out Samsung products. So it's also used over there, right? It's also used in the recommendation, um, engines. Okay. Or maybe the person type, uh, watch, if you go to Google and then you type watch something, okay. It's, it's likely, most likely that they will bring you a lot of videos, right? Or if you, type in something like listen, right? It's possible that they will be bringing you a lot of, um, or, or I mean, audios or songs over there, okay? So it's mainly, mainly used in these kind of areas. And then uh, one other area that is properly used is um, uh, when it comes to resume passing, okay? Resume passing or resume analyzing or scanning, right? So when the company is hope opens um, in a vacancy, right? When a company opens a vacancy, right? So let's say um, 100 people applied, okay? Now, the HR will not have that time to go through the 100 people's resume one by one and then be seeing who qualifies and who doesn't qualify. It's a whole lot of time, okay? 100 is just a minimum number. Mainly, companies like Amazon, Google, and so on, they can have like um, 30,000 people apply to just one single position, right? And I, mean, I don't think the HR will have the time to do that, okay? Go through all the resumes. So, they have this name entity recognition over there, right? What, what they are trying to do is that they are trying to scan your resume to identify if you have some keywords which relate to the job description, okay? So that you know that, okay, you match with the job description and then they will be able to um, drill down this 3,000 to maybe something like say 100, okay? And then go further to something like maybe 10, right? The top 10 candidates. And then now the HR will use his human intuition to select maybe the best among these 10 people. Okay, so that's, that's basically what happens. So um, if you are applying for some sort of a digital position, you need to be aware of these things because your, your resume need to contain words, which this name entity recognition uh, model will be able to um, identify, okay? Okay, so we actually gonna build a project like that for you to see how it is. All right, we're gonna build a project like that for you to see how it is, okay? So um, next, we're gonna go to the lab session to see an implementation of this name entity recognition, right? We're gonna see how it is being implemented. All right, so um, let's meet at the lab session.